handcrafted in Shanghai, first showcased at the 1915 Panama Pacific International Expo in San Francisco, and now reunited for public display in Singapore after over a century. These 84 model pagodas have had an extraordinary journey. When these pagodas were first showcased in、uh, San Francisco,、uh, it was one of the first time when modern China and America came into contact, and I think that also speaks to you know modern day、uh, Singapore's modern position as the exchange hub between the East and the West. The models offer the first glimpse of China's architectural marvels and craftsmanship to the West. They were created by orphans at Shanghai's Tu Shangwan Workshop. Due to their historical accuracy, some models serve as an architectural archive. One example is Shanghai's oldest surviving pagoda, the Dragon Flower. The Tu Shangwan model is different from the existing structure as it shows many historical details lost to restorations over the years. This is Kaiyuan Shi Ta,、uh, one of the major pagodas in northern China. So what we see in this model is the shape, the format, and also a lot of details are captured realistically.、Uh, for example, you can notice that there are a lot of like construction holes on the surface of the pagoda, and they were originally used to hold beams on which like further wooden structures can be built. On the other hand, if you notice the base, you can see there are a lot of paintings added onto the pagoda. We know that paintings never existed. So what the workshop has done sometimes is to inject creativity into this set of models. This is the Great Pagoda of Repainting Kindness in Nanjing. The significant thing about this pagoda is it was a brick tower, but it was all decorated with liu li tiles. Liu li is a type of early glass. That a lot of Westerners at that time called porcelain because they couldn't actually tell. So that's like how the name porcelain pagoda or porcelain tower came into being. Although it was destroyed in the mid 19th century, the Tu Shangwan Workshop recreated this based on visual sources. Next to it is the brick core of the original Lei Feng Ta, damaged by a fire during Ming Dynasty. These models not only chronicle China's architectural heritage, but also keep the memory of these ancient structures alive for generations to come. Mirror Lu, CGTN, Singapore.